One final four matchup is going to be a dogfight. This one, North Carolina, Oregon is going to be a track meet. Uh, it could be in the 90s. This yeah. game could be really, really fun. I think this game has so many athletes. Uh, I would say five, six, seven in legitimate NBA prospects. Both these teams want to run. I think Oregon would prefer to play a little bit slower than North Carolina because North Carolina, when they get moving on the run, as you saw against Kentucky, they are absolutely lethal. Mm, probably four or five of those on North Carolina's roster for yeah. NBA prospects, one of them being Jackson, who you think was a stud and showed it again against Kentucky. You know, we've talked about him this year as being the most important player of North Carolina, maybe Joel Berry, but I think Jackson, because he's so versatile, he's the most clutch player they have. They always seem to go to him when they need a bucket. And he's, you see the touch. There's just not a player in America, Adam, that has the ability to make these floaters like this. He's off balance, yet he's mm. always square to the basket. Came back to school, put on 10 to 15 pounds of muscle, although you, you can't really see it, but he mm. has be, got, become a stronger player. And then the passing, he also always finds a way to get three, four assists. He's just actively in the game, and that length is always a problem. Uh, in terms of Oregon, they've had different guys step up in different rounds. Uh, who needs to step up for him against North Carolina? I'll just stick with Tyler Dorsey. Keep it simple. Mr. March, that's what they call him. A sophomore, former McDonald's All-American. Another guy that tested the draft waters and very shrewdly came back to school. He was just unbelievable against Kansas. The two back-to-back -back threes at the end of the first half, as you, as you see here, really, I think, put the dagger in the Jayhawks. He is so good going to the hole, but really his game right now is that stop and pop three, and that's what makes him really tough because he's such a good athlete. He's dynamic at 6'4", 27 points. Seven straight games, Adam, where he shot 47% or better from the floor wow. and scored 20 points or more. There's really not much more you can ask for, ask for from a sophomore. Uh, man, uh, this should be a great game. Who are you picking in this one? I like Oregon. Wow. I think I think Oregon is going to find a way with Dane Allman, win this game by three, 79-76, to just control Carolina enough uh, in terms of the, the transition game. They're going to switch defenses. I don't think they'll play as much zone because North Carolina is the number one rebounding team in the country in terms of margin. And when you're in a zone, you're vulnerable to that second chance rebound. But I think they're good enough from a man defense perspective and good enough offensively to win it. Ducks fly together, right? That's, that's yeah. <laughs> He's picking on the go to the finals. We'll see what happens in Phoenix. Schultz picking Oregon over North Carolina.